Hey guys, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. Last episode, me and Priscilla there, we created a script for a very silly drama, hopefully to try and um, attract the attention of a particular shapeshifter by the name of Dudu. But we have to take the script to Arena Renard now, so I guess I'll start running off that direction and catch up with you in a second. Right, and we are here in my, not my journal, my character, I just remembered we had that level to, um, to use, so let's do exactly that. And what do we have access to these days? Protective coating. Okay, that's defense against monsters, pyrotechnics, all bombs, even those usually do not inflict damage, now inflict damage. That is pretty awesome and something I want to invest in. Um, mutagen decoction increases maximum vitality by 200 for decoction's effective duration. That's amazing. Uh, increase maximum vitality by plus 10% when toxicity exceeds the safe threshold. Here's the thing though. Oh, we do have an open slot now. We even have a new mutagen slot, so... Hmm... Mm-hmm-hmm. Do like bombs. I would like to make them as good as possible. Yes. We have boom. And let's put a new mutagen in. Are they all the same at the moment? Plus 50 vitality, all of them? Looks like it. Alright. Our character's got a lot of health. <laughs> so, that's fine though. <coughs> Let's, uh, no, I don't want to remove that. Let's get on with things. Ticket seller, are you just gonna let me in? No, of course you're not. Uh, I don't think that's what I wanted to look at, actually, in game. This where Madame Arena's troop performs. Yeah, but you can only enter with a ticket. There's no performance now. Mamas are just rehearsing. Process is interesting to observe, though. So, want a ticket? No performance. Said so yourself. You can still get a ticket. What'll it be? Need a ticket? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, one. Here. Just stay out of sight, eh? Awful bashful, these mamas in rehearsal. Look, I've got money, I don't care. Oh, what a killer. Well, what was wrong that time? It's Arena Renard. It simply needs. Yeah, I guess we'll talk to them now. Madam Arena, can we talk? Geralt of Rivia. Dandelions told us so much about you. Is he with you? No, but I hope to bring him back soon. Here to talk about Dudu. Hmm. Let's speak in my quarters at the back of the theatre. We'll be undisturbed there. Good, good. How can I help? We've not seen Dandelion or Dudu recently. Dandelion's in trouble. That much I guessed. Though I am curious how serious it is. Did he seduce a powerful man's wife and go into hiding? Or did he write an offensive couplet about the priests of the Eternal Fire? Oh no. Worse. Lots. I'm gonna try to help him. Gotta contact Dudu first. But he's disappeared as well. Have a plan to lure him out of hiding, but I need your help. Can I count on you? Naturally, but what can we possibly do? Put on a play! <laughs> I want to stage a play. Something that'll really draw the crowds. I see. And you hope it'll get Dudu's attention as well, draw him here. So it must be an entirely new play? And who will write it? It's already written. Priscilla, actually. She's done writing it. Tells the story of a witcher who rescues a Doppler from certain death. Hmm. Sounds interesting. I'll gladly have a glance. But first we must think about getting the word out and organizing some protection. Ushers. Would you mind tending to these matters? No, of course not. Think we need ushers? A play about Dopplers could be controversial, but are ushers absolutely necessary? 
Can't be sure if you've attended many performances, but Novigrad crowds can be particularly difficult. <laughs> Rotten apples, tomatoes, eggs, that sort of thing. Axes, butcher's knives, and bricks, actually. All oh right. God. Know anyone appropriate? Try the docks, perhaps. You're bound to find some men willing to do any work for a few crowns. Good, good. Docks it is. How can I help you spread the word about the premiere? Well, we'd like all the city to hear about it, so we must clearly talk to the Puffins. Who are the Puffins? Street artists. Get them to announce the premiere, and even the muscles on the harbour piling will hear about it. Where'll I find them? They did occupy some rooms in the bits in a townhouse, but I can't be sure they're still there. I've not seen them in the streets lately. They may very well have hung up their body hose. See if I can find them, and if they'll work for us. I'm not entirely sure what body hose are. Is it like pantyhose, except it goes up your chest? <laughs> Thanks for helping. I'll come back once I've found some ushers. See you then. Alright. So, let's go find Oof. some people. Head to the docks and hire ushers for the play, is the quest says. You're telling me to go this way? Ah, okay. You see? I see. Alright, here we are. Something ridiculous is happening. Well, I think I know what I've got to do. <laughs> Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A witcher versus the beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage! You guys really from Nilfgaard? We's from plowing Metina, damn it! Oh, Nilfgaard. Raised by wild hands on the windswept plains of Magdera! Brothers, forged in bloodshed, veterans of Metina's infamous filthy arenas! Who dares face the wild men of the south? Who will look the beasts in the eye? <laughs> I love the uh, dialogue in this game. Everyone's just like such good voice out. actors. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking's what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me gratis. See, Hal's no fan of mummies. Failed romance. Stay in the desert. So you'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on. Same time. Fire the century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Yeah, right. This sounds more fun than just paying you straight up, so... Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. <laughs> Geralt's not happy. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special lined up! Right. Hello, boys. Punch. Right, there's no blocking in this, I have to dodge. Uh, I would like to get off the terrain though, please game. Ow. Nope. 
Sorry about being a bit quiet. Got to concentrate. No. I am going to lose at this rate. How long are you going to make me wait? Oh, I can block. It's just the animation is so... There's very little difference between when you're blocking and when you're not. Come here. My coin's on the fat ass fella. My coin's on the fat ass fella. Alright, they could have done a little more with the uh, arena dialogue, unfortunately. <laughs> Ooh, you sneaky son of a... No. No, you don't. No cornering me. No dodge. Dodge, Carol, dodge. Oh, okay. I was a bit slow on the draw there. Can't take too many of those. Right, that's one down. Come on, Hal. Gotta do this, buddy. Right, barely, but I won. Well, well. Ain't often you get such a lovely trash in, are you? Man, speechless. But I can see it on his mug, bugger likes. <laughs> Time we got some rest. We'll guard whatever you want. For free. Hey, Al. <laughs> Al is not happy. Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, guards start. Cool. That was fun. That was very fun. I enjoyed that quite a lot. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying the um, dodging now that I've I've switched it so that rolls no longer on space and dodges on space. Did that last episode. Because roll just takes you too far away from the action and then you've got to realign yourself and with dodge, you stay right in it. Alright, well, I guess I'm going to go get the jugglers now. Alright, so apparently in this building is our friends the jugglers. Nice tune. Damn sad though. Then it successfully conveys my mood. What do you seek here? Looking for the puffins. Have I found them? We've no coin. Leave us be. I'm gonna get Think you there's coin. Been a mistake. Sorry. Thought our landlord had hired another thug to collect from us. <laughs> another thug? Flattered. Thanks. Forgive us. You look threatening, and we've had our share of trouble lately. Nisa's on edge these days. We all are. Don't want any coin from you. In fact, I'm willing to pay you, provided you agree to get the word out about Madame Arena's new play. Oh, afraid that's impossible. Ever since we premiered our fateful ballad about Holy Hemelfart, who his faith ignores, gorges himself, diddles old whores, Fatso's gang has been harassing us incessantly. Fatso's gang? Common thugs and the church's pay. City's full of gangs like that now. They threaten me, sir. Said they round off her pointy ears with a carving knife. They don't let us perform. Chase away spectators, destroy our instruments. Lately they've taken to lurking outside our home. We're at wit's end, no clue what to do. Oh, I'll deal with them. <laughs> don't you worry. <laughs> All right. Say I get Fatso and his boys to leave you alone. 
Will you publicize Arena's play then? Of course. But you shan't find it easy. There's no talking to that lot. I'm a thug, I'm remember? I'm a great talker anyway. Yeah, let's go deal with Fatso's gang. Sub Fatso's gang, you're already here. How oh, dare you to say it again? Well, no, no. I didn't say nothing. Not enough. So you're the ones. Oi, right, Fatso, look who we got here. Is it just me or you got cat eyes? <laughs> Right, he does. Stray cat must have fucked his mum. Hey, don't know what a witcher is. That's now, funny. What you do it in the city of eternal fire, cat shit. Leave the puffins alone. Worms that insulted our Ark Emilfart. Called him an allmonger. I'd sooner snuff out the holy flame itself. Tell them fucking poets to come down here. Shove their fruits up their blaspheming assholes. Yeah, to play a different tune then, every time they fought. <laughs> Get out of here. Now. What? Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, you silly bastards. You silly, silly bastards. You know what? I'm gonna have some fun here. He's hexing! No, you don't. Oh, stuck in the corner. Ooh, that was beautiful. Ah, oh, what a sight. You really showed them. One, two over the back, then pow, right in the noggin. That's how it happened. I'll finally be able to leave my home without hiding beneath the hood. Thank you very much. <laughs> Come on, it was nothing. Oh, it was something all right. I don't dare think we've forgotten our promise. We'll strip our voices ragged praising Arena's new play. How much will I owe you? Not a copper. Helped us out. See no reason what? why we should no. help you. Get half you guys are like to come to the play. ridiculously Wait poor. Some quick preparations and we'll be out in the streets. <laughs> Till the next. Okay, well, if you don't want to get paid, it's fine. I had the money going around. To the people who needed it. Mm. I mean, I even would have paid the dock workers, to be honest. Even after beating them, but... Alright. Back off to Renard, then. Oh, hello, Horson's henchman. Maybe not, then. <laughs> you know your boss is dead, right? Like, actually pushing daisies, so... I don't know who you're working for. The guards are getting involved. Thanks, dude. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a sec. Alright, Renard, where are you at? You're back here somewhere. I don't even know how I got back there in the first place. Okay. Okay, get off the NPC, Gerald. Just look at the freak. You what? I just gave you guys something to do. Do not call me a freak. Alright. Renard. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. And the other matter. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact. I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Hmm. It's not me, Who's is playing it? playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Good. Newcomer to the troop? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. <laughs> You're mean. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. 
Besides, you must appear <laughs> Poor on stage. Geralt. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. She's not wrong. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? <laughs> He's not so sure. So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, I do have more stage experience. Roll's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Hmm. I think we take a chance on Maxim because there's always a chance that we can fit someone else in last minute, right? Let's risk it and give the role to Maxim. He's had a good spell of late, so maybe he won't let us down. These performances bring in much coin? Well, it varies. On good days, the square is barely capable of accommodating everyone. Other times, we're lucky to earn a handful of coppers. Of course we shall pay you a fee as well. You're a member of the ensemble now. Oh, sweet. Hm. Thanks. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? Oh, yeah. Totally into it. But I still need to learn my lines. Working on it. Still need to learn my lines. It's a lot to memorize. One who knows an entire vestry by heart and can blend dozens of alchemical brews can surely memorize a few lines of rhymed verse. Good luck. But we're doing that for other reasons, guys, because uh, we're unfortunately really close to the normal wrapping up time. So we're going to have to cut it off just a little bit early here because I want a nice, long, open episode for the play. So thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Bye bye.